Morning. So monsoon season has finally taken a break for at least a day. Completely clear skies, which hasn't happened for more than a week, maybe two weeks. It's been pretty cloudy slash rainy nonstop for the last couple weeks. And the ground is really soggy, really squishy. But I mean, there's areas in my yard with just tons of worms coming up. So I didn't realize how many worms were in my yard, which is pretty awesome to see, because I know that helps to um, condition the soil and aerate it and things like that. So sorry, I'm squinting a little. It's just like blinding out here with the sun out. Um, Sugarcane. I haven't talked about my sugarcane in a while. It's been almost three months. So I'm about to hit three months in a few days. And I didn't really know anything about sugarcane when I started planting this. I mean, most of my resources were in other languages and just trying to find information about cultivation of sugarcane was hard to find. So I kind of wanted to track the progress just for myself and anyone else like me who just wants to know how to grow sugarcane. So I got a couple um, sugarcane stalks from a friend and chopped them into two node segments. And basically what that means is you have the spot where there's a little bump in between the leaves on the sugarcane stalk and you cut those such that there are two nodes per segment. And I've heard you can do it one node per segment. I just did it two nodes per segment because I just wanted to try that out. Buried them in the soil. Within a week or so, I had little shoots popping up. I think it was probably two weeks actually. That was after one week I had roots. Yeah, that's right. I, I dug down and pulled the piece up and it had roots. And then within two, three weeks, I think I had little shoots coming up. Anyway, three months out almost. And these stalks are now, well, the leaves at least are up to chest level. You know, I'm 6'3", so I would guess he's probably five plus feet tall now. The cane portion that you might be able to harvest, you know, that's probably only about three feet tall maybe. So that's kind of an idea of what it's gonna do in the first three months. You should be about three feet tall in the stock portion, about five feet tall, including the leaves that are hanging out. These might actually be sticking up a lot higher if they weren't bombarded by such heavy rains during monsoon season, or they might be growing faster because of that. I mean, right now they have pretty wet feet because they did the pit method, where you kind of dig them below the surface to make sure that they don't dry out. So that's the method I chose, and it seems to be doing fairly well. I don't really have a, a mounded one to compare it to. I know a lot of people around here like to use raised beds, which if that's what you want to try, go ahead. But I know from my experience, they just dry out so fast in 120 degree weather. It seems way more effective in the desert to have pits that take longer to dry out. But I mean, it's all preference. I mean, if you're able to have tons and tons of growth by doing raised beds, then do raised beds. But this is what's worked for me. Everything's covered with green in the middle of the desert. So I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing until it fails and then try other things. I think that's the way that makes the most sense to me. But there you have it. Sugar cane seems to be doing really well. Um, I'm excited to attempt to try to get the juice out of this. I've watched a few videos on hard, how hard that is to do unless you want to spend a few hundred dollars on a juice extraction device. So I'm going to see if I can build something that'll do the same thing. That'll be a fun experiment. So anyway, sugarcane, do it. Thanks for watching.